two, one, go! Blue Alliance with robots at their cargo ship and their rocket. Apes of Wrath, far side of the field, scoring the cargo during the sandstorm. Lines now raised. Team 649 picking up a hatch panel. Making their way over to the cargo ship. Red Alliance already ahead of the blue. In terms of scoring, mostly thanks to their cargo in the middle of the field. 27 to 22, Red Alliance. 971. Very fun mechanism to watch. Uses a suction cup to release the cargo into the hatch. Blue Alliance staying on the tail of Red Alliance, now overtaking them 34 to 38. Now that's the Red Alliance, excuse me, in the lead. 649, the robot called Sea Devil over in the Red Alliance half zone. They're now focusing on the rocket of the Red Alliance. Team 115, MVRT. They have a cargo in their rollers, but they can't do anything with it. Griffin Robotics. Also running into a bit of defense. Both sides now. Very close, neck and neck. 971 just can't do anything at the Blue Alliance rocket ship. Team 668, the team out of San Jose, blocking them to the best of their abilities. Blue Alliance with the lead, a little over 10 points. As we are now in the end game period. Robots stilted onto the level three platform on both sides. Both of them successfully sitting pretty up at the top. Five seconds left to go. Looks like the Red Alliance and the Blue Alliance had the same exact setup for their end game strategies here in match number 72. A level one, two, and three off 87 to 78. Half climbing rank point awarded to both alliances. Blue with a total of three, including the two from the win. 33 cargo scored by the